Yeah. But I think mine's coming out. Cream Mecca has a link. Yeah, she gave me my number because I got all, I got one. I've been stockpiling for the parts for that whole thing. Sixes. Unless the C92 is a manual, which it is not. Dual clutch, Interlagos, or Le Mans. One of those. I don't know what those are? Lie. So of course, I don't know what those are. It's a manual. Okay, so that's nice. The paint's real clean. It's got a clear prow in the front. Xenons. Nice. All right, guys. So it's an O2. Uh, the, all the dining stuff was put on. It is a serialized, authentic stage three car, supercharged, 620 horsepower. All this stuff was put on at 30 and 40 thousand miles at a cost of 87 thousand dollars. It's an M1 SW full leather luxury interior and in perfect condition. This car has PDC. It has split folds. It does not have sun shades. Brayer Club Wood Trim, Chariot Red, all Dynan, everything. Owned by one of the employees of All German Auto up in Escondido, so that's why I saw it the other day. Just an incredible car. <laughs> that pine cone got dicked. So this is one of the new ones, but we've got to cut this sleeve off, grind a weld and figure out how to do that at the end here because it's too thick yeah. to fit into the X-pipe now. Because there's a, you can see there's like a lip in there. We gotta get it down to that lip. I'll show you the old one. The old cats came off quite easily. Um, here, that had been cut. These things are just titanic artifacts, like everything else that was original under this car. Um, so we thankfully have not had to remove the mufflers or X-pipe. They are still in place, supported by a safety stand. Um, these are all crusty too, but uh, we got some new hardware, new-ish hardware that I'm robbing from another car. Right, because these things are just trash. So the cats are what we replaced today, which goes from where they mate with the headers, back here, catalytic converters, pre-cat O2 sensors, post-cat O2 sensors, and then that orange stuff is just a gasket maker paste uh, where it mates with the X-pipe, two 10-inch resonators, and then they clamp to the Eisenman race Hi, mufflers. Nate says, hi, Jake. <laughs> yes, I'm laying on the ground under the car. Um, I know that this hardware, these are Torx. That's a 10 mil, that's a 16. It's not right. Those holes are washed. They've been retapped. That's what works. 
these heat shields are pretty new. These outer panels have been done. That's been replaced. This has been replaced. All of that's been replaced. Diff is not original to the car. Uh, you know what is original? These, that, and that are rear integral links and they are original. Oh. Okay, the cats on my car are done. That took way longer than we thought. We had to modify the uh, cat output flange kind of thing. This is the one part from an E65 that is going on my M4. <laughs> the only part. This is the E65 and apparently E53 4.6 fan clutch and fan assembly. And you'll immediately notice over the factory part that the fan blades are curved and they have this ring around the perimeter. And this is supposed to yield quieter fan so speed, quieter right? quieter operation, more motion from um, more, more air movement because the curved blade design does actually pull more air too. Mm -hmm. However, that's somewhat mitigated by the fact that it has this outer ring. However, the outer ring should help prevent the entire thing from shattering yeah. and puncturing your radiator at once. Or hood. Also, it's brand new. That is 177,000 miles. Let's put them next to each other yeah. here, see the difference. Yeah, this thing comes complete with uh, some Illinois salt still on the clutch. Yep, Illinois and Indiana. It looks a whole bunch bigger, but that's just because of the ring. It's actually about the same diameter. The clutch itself is much heavier duty, though. So yeah, the clutch is, is thicker as well. And these parts are more affordable, right? They are, much more. Cheaper than this stuff. Yeah. So I, I think if, if it goes well in your car, I will follow suit. And uh, probably... 160 bucks for all of it. Yeah, 160 for all of it. And that's all bare, right? This is all bare, yep. So now you just spin it on there. There's no need to tighten it since it's reverse threaded. It'll tighten as the engine runs. Move it in there. Yeah, it might be... It's definitely thicker, so it's going to be tighter there around that cool. elbow. I'll have to take out the elbow. That's easy enough. Yeah, We're let's pull the elbow. Anyways. Okay, as it turns out, both um, air intake elbows have to come off. Which is not a big No, a couple screws. Now what are we hitting? Thermostat hose? Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a tighter fit in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it just squeezes past the secondary air pipe. And then once you get that first thread on, there you go. Hey. It fits. Fits. Uh, we should we should have weighed it to see that the difference is. Because oh, I could stress the water pump a little bit more. I doubt it. The water pump's new anyway, so. Ta -da. Cool. Woo. So it's your favorite job to do on the S62, oh, yeah. right? The valve cover so gasket. Fun. You know what? It's better than a rear main seal. Oh, it's definitely better than a rear main seal. That was sucked so We bad. didn't have to take off, well, we did take off exhaust, but no drive shaft, oh, transmission, mm -hmm. flywheel. Uh, I, learned, I learned a good trick on the forums um, called the zip tie trick, and it's very simple. See these bolts right here? You put a zip tie through them and hold the gasket in place on all these four slick. ones. These four it's ones like eight or ten zip ties, and then you don't have to fight with it the whole yeah. time. I mean, still get to fight with it. Not as well, much as you might have. It's this side that works best, that works best. That is, I, I read a text that comes in on my phone that says it works best, and that's what I said. Um, this side sucks more than the other side because there's fuel lines in the way. There's that big old vacuum hose, uh, the wiring harness. It's just tight. Yep. Um, so the theory of why this fails, so <laughs> the theory of why this oh, failed. shit, as I dropped that in the bunk down. God damn it. I thought I heard it hit the ground. Something's on the ground under the car. It might be a zip tie. Oh, wait a minute. I think it came out, Nate. Is it this? Yep. I got really lucky there. Yeah, how the hell did that happen? That belly yeah. pan's pretty sealed, pretty well sealed. It's probably at the steering box. There we go. Um, I don't know what else I was saying, but this side sucks. Um, yes, there's all the shit in the way. <laughs> well, there's shit in the way over here, too, just less of it. Yeah.